Jessie Draper, the Valley Girl. Valley Girl. Let's talk business. I'm like the Valley Girl. Zendesk is an integrated on-demand cloud-based help desk software company. Currently, Zendesk has over 10,000 clients in 100 countries. Mikkel Svein is the CEO of Zendesk. How zen. Well, here we are with Mikkel of Zendesk. So welcome to the Valley Girl Show. I'm Thank so you. excited to have you here. <laughs> Thank you, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> now, tell me, what does Zendesk do? So uh, Zendesk, we are, a, uh, uh, we are a software company. We build a, a software solution for businesses, for enterprises, so that they can provide great customer service to their customers. So we are an enabler of great customer services for more than 20,000 businesses around the world that use our products to provide great customer service to their customers. That's great. That's a very important thing. It is. It just, you know, customer service really makes or breaks a lot of companies. I think it's kind of, it's, it's ultimately what defines you as a company, your ability to engage and communicate honestly in an open and transparent way with your customers. How did um, Zendesk become Zendesk? <laughs> it's it's a long story. It's it's a long it's a it's a story of three guys in a room sitting in cold cold Copenhagen. As you can hear from my accent, I'm not from around here. <laughs> we said like the world of customer service is terrible. We can do this better. We need to give this whole industry a good kick in the butt and, <laughs> and take it up a notch, take it to a new level, and bring the world of customer service software to up to date, basically. Put it in the cloud, make it on demand, have a transparent pricing model and all that stuff. It was a long, like a couple of years, for two years, we bootstrapped the company. Wow, before. which is great. <laughs> I think it's really, I think it's great to bootstrap a company. Yeah, because like you don't have any money, so it's fun. <laughs> no. <laughs> you got to well no I think it's that means you own it. Yeah. I think it's uh, it's it's really really tough. Like that's that's where 95% of all businesses they break it's because true. like getting three people together working concentrated on something that they don't have they don't see any money for doing is mm -hmm. really really complicated. But we bootstrapped it and uh, finally uh, made the jump took the company to California, signed up with American VCs and it's just been growing like crazy ever since. We are today more than 300 people. We have our wow. headquarters here in San Francisco. So I have a really important question for you that I'm sure everyone is just dying to know. <laughs> what is the secret to great customer service? I think in many ways it's not that complicated. I think it's about building a relationship with your customers based on uh, responsiveness. Like when somebody asks you something, make sure they get an answer quickly. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's what we want. Honesty, like don't try to don't try to you know, wrap things in, like tell them as they are, be authentic and, 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 and have an open and transparent process about it. And I think we, we help companies with technology that enables them to do just that. That said, uh, dealing with customers is really, really tough. Like everybody who's ever spent time in a call center and a help desk knows, spending your entire day just dealing with customer issues and customer problems people crying, people celebrating, people yelling at you. It's really, really hard. Yeah. But to be successful, as you said yourself, it is one of the things that makes or breaks the customer relationship or the client relationship. So it is something that customer, the companies need to get into the DNA. Um, and I think we are in a good place to help them with that. Well, good. I'm so happy that we all just learned the secret. <laughs> <laughs>
you get to try the product freely for a, a month and it's very intuitive it's very easy there's a lot of online webinars and trainings if you want to learn more but the products are very very intuitive and most some of our customers even some of our biggest customers have signed up and hit the ground running over a weekend what is something that you have learned as an entrepreneur on this um, journey that you've been <laughs> on with Zendesk? What is something that you've learned? Being in a place where I am today, uh, coming from nowhere, building this out of nothing, it's a huge privilege to be where I, where I am today, running this fantastic organization. And we've been very, very fortunate in hiring a lot of fantastic talent here in San Francisco, meeting a lot of very good people that have helped me develop as a CEO of the company, but also has helped the company develop and think bigger and be more aggressive. So I have a huge respect for the whole build, company building culture that is Silicon Valley. Uh, and I couldn't imagine a better place to be in the world. I can tell you are very Zen. Um, you know, I think that <clears throat> we use the Zen, we adopted the Zen description because I think we all want this we all know this feeling of cleaning up our desk, right. putting all the papers in the right but you know order and like different buckets of. Oh yeah, you should see my desk. <laughs> you would just be like, you need help. <laughs> and every time you sit in front of your desk, you become a little stressed. And but when you get into a rhythm of organizing your things and have a clean desk, you have that feeling of ah, you know you're on top of things. You know where everything is. Nothing f has fallen through the cracks. <laughs> right. um, and that kind of send feeling, we would like to give our customers, our, the companies that use Zendesk, when they deal with their customers. Because like we have customers, for example, one of our fast and growing customers is Groupon. Right. They came to us when they were you know, a five person organization. Oh my goodness. And we've been, f we've been helping them through that tremendous growth. So they now have thousands and thousands of people using Sendesk every day in more than 30 countries. What do you keep on your desk? I keep all the business cards that people give me and that I don't know what to do with. I know. How do you, how do you organize <laughs> yeah. those? I don't even know if you need to organize them. I try to keep my office very wireless. Right. So I only have a power cord and the monitor is hooked up wirelessly or that we have big TV screens on our walls and it's hooked up wirelessly and I try not to, I don't like clutter. <laughs> yeah, I can tell, I can tell. <laughs> so I was thinking you are very zen, clearly just meeting you, your company is all about being zen. I think we should do some meditation. Great. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are, we are doing some meditation, and um, I think that this will really make us even more zen. I know you're obviously very zen, but I feel more zen like this, don't you? <laughs> Extremely zen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh my god. Um... <laughs> is this just, is this all you do? I'm like the Valley Girl. And I'm like Mikel of Zendesk. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for your dits moment. Do you feel anything? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy I can still feel my legs. <laughs>